Well, 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 here we go. All right. It is a fun Friday. And before we get started, let's go ahead and get rid of the elephant, the huge elephant in the room. I mean, it's a lot of elephants in this room. Um, they're invisible. You can't see them, but they're there. So uh, we're going to start with the fact that we're going to stay positive. We're going to stay focused. And uh, we're not going to name call. We're not going to, um, you know, be that person uh, that becomes... You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. But let me just say, so we had Powell this morning. And he was hawkish on the market. And the market went kaflui. Um, And then now we have the affidavit that came out. Uh, I've been looking at that since about um, 11.50. That's why I'm coming on so late. So here we are. And I wanted to do something different here. So um, I was at the town hall for EV Mux, which is my dedicated live streaming uh, platform here. And uh, so this platform is powered by EV Mux, which is a web-based platform. And I don't have all the bells and whistles all hooked up because I wanted to come on and just do the thing, right? And that's what we're going to do. So I asked a question during the live stream. And there was another uh, streaming software that I, I would use to add my iPad, okay? So I thought about it. And and the question that, I mean, the answer that I got was there's a way to connect your iPad to your computer and then share it with uh, EVMUX inside the program. So I sat down here in my studio and I thought about it for a minute. Then I went over to my pegboard and I looked at the cords that I had. And this is the cord that I found, right? So I work with a iMac, uh, a MacBook Pro. So one end is going to have the USB-C, which, if you can see, it, it's different from a. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, you know what a USB-A is. You know it's the big fat one. And on the other end of the cord is, of course, the lightning cord. Here, let me see. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So basically, I, I said to myself, well, let's see if that works. So, I mean, you know, you plug one in, you plug one in, and uh, it should connect. But how? So basically, all I did was try some things out. So I plugged this in. And then I plugged it into my directly. If I can get it in there. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I plugged it directly into my MacBook Pro. I didn't plug it into my docking station. None of that. Then I went to... Uh, let me take this one and kind of do like that. Then I went, to, and, I, and let me share my screen so you can see what happens here. Um, so I'm going to bring that on. Right, there we go. So I got my screen shared. So then I went to open up QuickTime. And I went to new movie recording. And let me bring that over. Uh, 
and I'm not going to hit record or anything like that. But I came down here, and here it says my iPad. So I'm going to hit that. And there it is. And basically, I'm able to connect my iPad. Now, what I wanted to use it for was a whiteboard, right? So, uh, it, it, you know, these are apps that you can get online. So I opened up, uh, oh, wait a minute, I have to do it here. I have, I have the, I don't have the iPad Pro, but I do have the iPad Mini Pro or Middle Mini. I dropped it earlier. Hopefully the tip still works. So I'm going to open that up and boom, there you go. Now, if I were teaching and training, I would have the, the now this is called, I forget what it's, it's, it's a, um, it's a whiteboard that you can download off of um, the app store for free. But now I can pretty much use this as my graphics tablet. Uh, I can also change the background. So this is a very limited one, but it's a good one. You know, it works, right? So if if I was trying to um, show something like, what do they call this? And uh, I, I, I call me, uh, my drawing's terrible. Um, And I can just get rid of everything here. All right. So I can use this to um, pretty much. <laughs> I am not a drawer to talk about what it is that. that I want to uh, <laughs> convey. Now, this is just a very simple whiteboard that you can get. You, you know, it's got very limited colors. Um, you know, what is that? Black, red, green, blue, that sort of thing. Individual eraser. So I can just kind of erase individually. She's got one leg. But if I want to get rid of everything, I just click the X. Very easy. Uh, there's there's nothing else on here that I would need. Twelve oh nine group, which is one of my entities, and you can share. So you can share the 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 image, and if I were to click on that, I can immediately share it as a message. I can airdrop it if anybody's near me. I can post it up to my Facebook, blah, 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 or I can download and save the image. I thought that was pretty cool. And then share it, right? But um, one of my main programs that I generally work with, and it's up here in my journals, is a program called Zoom Lite. Now, they do have a Zoom Pro. The Lite is the free one. And this is basically what I was using for, uh, as you can see, brain dumping, uh, blackboarding, 
uh, for my real estate. And you can actually create folders inside of this. So uh, this composing eye folder is for photography and photography notes. And there's there's that thing. It's called um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> I can go back. This is a powerful program, even the free version. Um, so this right here are my investor notes. And what I've actually done uh, in this one, and I'm going to change the positioning of it, is I put in a purchase agreement here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But it's writable. Like, you know, I can actually use this as a residential contract of sale. I could basically um, sit down with a client. We go through, uh, we can go through the actual document page by page and of course there could there could actually be a a physical document of this as well but you know here together we can go through the document and all of these tools that surround this document uh, can be cleared so that you can see the full document. Uh, generally, what I what I would do is, you know, print it out, and as the client is reading the actual uh, physical document, I can I can just have mine on the iPad, and then if they agree to it, we can do it both ways. You know, we can make it digital, and we can make it uh, a real project, uh, a physical material paper project. Right. Uh, and with that, at the end of the document, let's see if we can go to the next one. We go through the document, all the pieces that at the end, there is the ability to sign. So here, you know, I could sign my name. They could sign their name, date it, blah, blah, blah. And um, it, it would be a real document. And then I would share it. And right here is the share button. And I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, let's see, target. Oh, yeah, where would I share it? Share it to email, right? So I, I could pick email and click share. And there you go. Sent from my iPad, the, the email's right there. Boom, 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 whatever. So this is a pretty cool program. But what I actually just wanted to show here was a way to connect the iPad to uh, your computer to use it as a digital tool. And I really like the fact that that can be done. So with that being said, let's let's move to the next little piece of fun stuff that I found. I'm going to go ahead and click that off. And uh, what I want to, oh, that's not what I want to do. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Joe? Hmm. Uh, let's go back to QuickTime. There you are. <laughs> I wanted to share this with you because uh, I wasn't on when I made this adjustment so i wanted to make the adjustment uh, so that you could see what i did here now first of all the market is tanking 
Well, Powell spoke this morning, right? The market's tanking. And let me just check things, make sure. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking at uh, forward slash YM, which reflects it's it's the futures, but it reflects the overall market the way it was this morning when I actually recorded this. And then I went over, and if you look down here, and you and you notice the <laughs> the drop, it's, it, it, you know we were waiting for the PCE and uh, Powell. So nothing good came out of that. I don't know where the market sits right now because I don't have that piece up, but we will look at it. Uh, the next one I looked at was in Q, which reflects the NASDAQ. And that was down considerably. And it looks the same, right? It's, it was pretty funny as I was looking through these. I was like, wait a minute, everything seems to look the same. So then I said, okay, um, let's go and check out the reflection of futures from, um, I went back, right. <laughs> I went back and I said, maybe my charts aren't changing. So then I went to um, E-mini which is a reflection of the S&P uh, 500 market. It, same thing. They all look the same. I was amazed by that, actually. So I said, okay, let's, let's go ahead and get on with what we have going on in our portfolio. Well, Ford's back down. Uh, under 16, under my number, I was able, like I said before, I was able to, now this is recorded, guys. I was, a, but look at, look at, look at that, where the arrow's going. It looks just like the other markets. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Am I seeing things? Is this uh, something that I should be paying attention to? So I went to square. Square, same thing. Look at the pattern at the end. Huge down from yesterday and another down from today. Uh, this is a stock that I need to roll because I have a strangle. And I need to roll into um, the next quarter because I'm in the money. It's 21 days to expiration if you look at this right here. And let me go ahead and stop that real quick. Right here, it is 21 days to expiration. And I stay with my mechanics. We all must stay mechanically focused if we're going to do the market. So I rolled by clicking on these two, right clicking. Now I had, it took me a minute to get filled. And I took a little less credit, a couple of pennies less uh, credit, so that I could get filled on this and move into the October cycle, which um, gave me another credit and gave me some extrinsic value. And you'll actually uh, see me perform that task uh, in this video. Um, so let us do that. Oh, but first I wanted to look at something else, my QQQ. I guess I wanted to look at my QQQ chart. Yeah. Hey, there it is again. It all looks the <laughs> I was I was just like everything, but a QQQ is uh the hold on, let me let me stop there for a second. So SPY is the ETF for uh, uh, certain stocks inside, or it's the fund for certain stocks inside of um, the S&P 500. QQQ reflects um, the trust or ETF for 
the NASDAQ. And the IWM is for the Russell, which I don't have up here. Um, so those are the three that if you, you know, S SPX is a large product. I, we don't play that. That's like playing the broad S&P 500 market. We're not doing that. We're, we're sticking with what our portfolio can handle. Uh, so I just wanted to, to show you that and how that reflects that and that it, it has the same look and feel. The market dropped considerably yesterday. It's doing the same thing today. So of course, everything's down, including my Ford shares. So I presume in this recording, I went back to my square position. Yes, I did. And um, I went up to the trade right up there. I was in the September expiration. It's 21 days to go. So now what I'm going to do is highlight. There you go. And right click. And I'm going to roll this expiration to October's expiration, which is down here, uh, 10, 21, 22, which gives me 56 days to go. It gives me more time to be right. Now, initially, I was able to look at possibly uh, $3.20 worth of credit, but of course, I didn't get filled. And if you look over here, it's going to say, uh, after I send the order, it's going to say it's working, which means it didn't get filled. I want to fill this order, so I'm going to click on that and replace it. And uh, I'm going to drop it down. I went up. I mean, I meant to drop it down and take less credit and see if I can get it for a penny less. Uh, review and send. It, it still wouldn't let me go. So I said, okay, you know, I can replace the order and uh, take it down um, a little bit more so that I can get filled. I think I took it down to 315, 317. One of them I got filled in. I just kept doing replace order because I, I really wanted to get filled to the next. So I think I went to 315 or 317. Yeah, 315. And I think I got filled here. At 3.15. So I, I got filled uh, in square now. So I am no longer in September. I am now in October. And uh, I always go over here to chains. And um, hopefully I can... That's me breathing in the background because I didn't want to say anything or to do this. Um, before I did a vertical and I, I actually slipped up and closed this. I didn't mean to close it that early, but I did. I think I collected just a, a few pennies. But here is my roll. So I, I went out of September and I went into October. So now I have a new trading mark. I have more credit to work with, and um, I'm looking to turn this thing around. I, you know, it can only go so far until I become inverted with this strangle, but we'll see what happens, right? Uh, but I just wanted to show you that, and um, let's, let's go ahead and close that down. Boom, boom. And then we can go ahead and take this off. Okay, that's it. So I just wanted to show everything that that was. So I, I'm working with the um, on the fly quick tool here. I wanted to keep the, the video under half an hour. I'm going to share this up. This is just a recorded broadcast. And uh, later on, I do want to go live because there are, there's a lot going on on this fun Friday. But it's hot, it's warm, 
it's humid and I've got some water in my backyard that's calling my name. So I'm going to go there and, and complete my fun Friday, grab a book, and uh, jump in some water. Okay. So anyway, digital tool, using your iPad as your graphics tablet. Don't need to go out and buy the Wicom. Um, which one is cheaper? Well, it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of the other. If you don't have an iPad, it's probably cheaper to go out and get one of the 4x6 Wicom tablet, bamboo tablets. Uh, but if you do have an iPad, it's cheaper to buy the plug and plug up to your computer. And that way you'll have your digital tablet to work with. Thank you for being here. And I'm going to enjoy this fun Friday. We'll go live later on today. Hopefully, if I don't have too much fun, because it's Friday. Take care, guys.